the 2K Sports Pregame Show. Greetings, everybody. Welcome to 2K Sports. I'm Ernie Johnson here with Shaquille O'Neal and Kenny the Jet Smith. Tonight, we'll see the Toronto Raptors playing against the Milwaukee Bucks in Milwaukee. Well, for the Bucks, they couldn't have asked for a better start to the year. Most teams need a little feeling out period, some time to get everybody on the same page, but they hit the ground running from day one and have not looked back. Here in the early part of the season, Kenny, we've already seen a few teams outperform expectations. What can they do to keep rolling? Just keep playing to your strengths, and you never let up. You can't change what you're doing now. You're, it's working. It's that simple. It's that simple. And to add on to what my good friend Kenny is saying, can't am, am get I not your friend? But you didn't say anything. Yes, Kenny I did. Said something. All right, anyway, can't get overconfident like you're doing right now. Even though you're winning, you keep looking for things that you can do better. Man. And you are my good friend, Ernie. I love oh, you. thanks, Shaq. Now, let's send it over to Kevin Harlan. The Bucks look to take charge on their home court, and we're bringing it to you live from Milwaukee here on 2K Sports. This is Kevin Harlan with Clark Kellogg and Greg Anthony. David Aldridge is on our sideline. Looking at Toronto, they took the win in their last game against the Dallas Mavericks. And there wasn't much question as to how that game was going to turn out. They absolutely put the hammer down on them. And, and once they established that flow offensively, really never got any resistance from the D. And, you know, Greg, they were sinking shots left and right, and that's got to be demoralizing for the defense. They were in a real zone. And David Aldridge is standing by for our pregame report. David, good evening. Well, Kevin, we know how fortunate the Bucks are that they uncovered a top five player in Giannis Adendokounmpo. But this creates pressure on him to chase a title while he's in his prime. And with their coaching change and roster changes, every move is under heightened scrutiny. Kevin? He wants to win in Milwaukee, D.A. Uh, can they help him get there? Early on in the season, some players locked and loaded, others trying to find their groove, Clark. Did you tend to be a fast starter, or did it take you some time to get a, a flow for your game as the season started? You know, Kevin, in my relatively short career, I experienced both. My rookie season, I started a little slow. I was in really good shape, knew I was going to play a lot, but it took a minute for me to find my traction. Uh, I started fast in my third year because I had been around the block a couple of times. I knew what my offseason needed to be like, and I had gotten off to a terrific start in my third and fourth year. And then the injury happened, and that was it. But I, nice um, I experienced game, huh? both. So the Bucks win the tip. Here are the five for the Raptors. Inside pairing is Ibaka and Valanciunas. Kyle Lowry and Danny Green are the guard tandem. And it's Leonard in at the small forward. Here's Ilyasova and the rejection by Ibaka. Outside Lowry. Onto Dekumbo against Leonard. Left side Lowry. Just five to shoot. Green kicks to Valanciunas. No good. Now the Bucks take it the other way. To the paint. Here's Ilyasova. And good that time. Ilyasova's got the first basket of the game for the Bucks. Nice awareness from the young forward. Giannis Antetokounmpo showing he wants to work it to his guy. Pass to Valanciunas. Right side Leonard. Puts it up. Nice shot from the wing. And that was Lowry with that fire hydrant build setting the nice screen there. And so it's Bledsoe with it. Bringing it up for Milwaukee. They come into this one having outplayed the Magic last game. Yeah, and in that game, we saw a lot of sloppy play from the opposing offense. They coughed the ball up. A lot of unforced turnovers. And that did make things relatively easy for them. You know, it's nice to get a win and not have to work too hard for it. Out of bounds, Milwaukee takes possession. Simply missed a connection there. I mean, I like the unselfishness 
admirable, but just not the result. About a minute and a half through the first quarter. Anadokounmpo kicks to Henson. Now, Anadokounmpo coming off a stellar performance against Orlando. Absolutely awesome to watch Anadokounmpo rise up for these throwdowns. I mean, it's really quite easy for him. Now, here is Lowry. What a tremendous game he played against Dallas. No good from Bledsoe. And, you know, the defense was probably in the C-plus range there. I mean, I'm sure he feels like that's one he should have made, that layup. Leonard, the pass to Lowry. Back to Leonard. That one good for two. Oh, it's not easy trying to guard Leonard inside. I can tell you that, guys. I mean, he's so good at using his body to get shots up over the defense. Now here's Ilyasova. Pass to Anadokounmpo. Ludzo against Lowry. Got a piece of it. And stolen by Kyle Lowry. From the arc. Good, and it's Green picking up the assist. And that's Lowry's shot right there. Always looking to capitalize from that range. Ludzo finds Ilyasova. Ludzo against Lowry. And the rejection by Valanciunas. And John Henson with the slam. For Toronto, they've gone three of four from the field to start out the game. Baca against Ilyasova. Ibaka outside. Valanciunas. Passes to Lowry. Shakes off the strong D and gets the bucket for two. Lowry's got five. Kevin, that's a nice display of patience inside from Lowry. Didn't rush his shot, takes his time, and really does a nice job sinking these high percentage looks. And there's the whistle. Illegal screen. And while we've got this moment here, now let's take a look at last season's leaders in converting turnovers into points. The Buck second. And they turned all those mistakes into points at the other end. That aggressive style really yielding big dividends. Boy, you look at Mike Budenholzer, and he's um, moved into a nice situation this offseason. Atlanta in rebuild mode, and the Milwaukee Bucks heading in the other direction. One of the best teams in the East. That's a good landing spot for Budenholzer. Now here's Bledsoe. Kawhi Leonard unable to get his shot to go. Bledsoe dishes to Middleton. Back to Bledsoe. Middleton against Green. Shoots. Middleton can't get it to go. And Budenholzer, well respected around the league. Talk about what he brings now, Clark, to the Milwaukee Bucks, his new team. Yeah, I think he brings a continuity offensively, ball movement and spacing, and a pretty good system defensively as well. Stolen by Henson. The pass to Middleton. Knocked loose. It's stolen by Ibaka. Green deciding where to go with it. He kicks to Valanciunas. Back to Green. Just five on the clock. Fires the three. A three-pointer is right on target. They've wasted no time settling into their offense. Yeah, they're lasered in. I mean, really making the most of their possessions. Now here's Bledsoe. His last outing with 20 points. Pass to Middleton. From deep. That one's in his first bucket of the game. He's one for two. Oh, I like seeing Middleton stroke it from downtown. That release of his, pure as white-driven snow. And Valanciunas kicks to Lowry. And he can't answer back. The three-pointer offline. Middleton outside. Pass to Anadokounmpo. Leonard with the steal. And oh, here we go with Leonard. Nobody back. And Kawhi Leonard with the slam. 
And, you know, the intensity Leonard plays with on defense is impressive, using his huge hands to claw the ball away. Out of the Kumbo, kicks to Ilias Hope. Dishes to Middleton. Passes to Out of the Kumbo. Six to shoot. No good with the triple. And so Lowry will bring it up for Toronto. It's a five point game. Green bounce pass. And Valanciunas now atop the key. There's the pass to Leonard. Takes the three. Rebound by Ilias Homer. Yeah, not a great shot there, especially when you got a lockdown defender guarding you. Agreed. I mean, when the defense is right there, you've got to move the ball, make the extra pass. That's a case of a poor shot selection. And guys, what do you think about the hustle stats here for Toronto? Well, I think the defensive aggressiveness on display here has caught them off guard, playing airtight defense and coming up with the steals. Yeah, and one thing, Clark, I've noticed is how quick their hands have been tonight. Thanks to that, they've gotten a lot of points off of turnover. Clark, when you played some tremendous talent at the forward position, as you go back in your Rolodex, who was the toughest matchup for you? Well, I look at some of the names of guys that I played against. Uh, Mark Aguirre, Larry Bird, obviously Kevin McHale in Boston. Uh, Calvin Nat was terrific with Portland at the time. Marcus Johnson in Milwaukee. Bernard King in New York probably was the toughest guy I had to deal with because he was such an animal and beast as a scorer and was relentless in his movement without the ball. He was probably the hardest guy I had to check. Boy, some great names there. Yeah, big time scores at that forward position. Outside Leonard. Pass to Siakam. Rodden against Wright. Inside, stolen by Henson. And now, here comes Anadokounmpo leading the break. Yeah, Anadokounmpo has really learned how to get himself to the foul line. It's one of the easiest ways to score the ball. He gets to the strike at a higher clip with each passing year. And you might have heard this story about Giannis growing a couple of inches since he was drafted, but how about the strength this kid has added? Under 200 pounds as a rook, he's added a good 35 pounds of muscle through his dedication in the weight room. And they now lead as the free throw drops for him. Green, he's checked in for Leonard. Both free throws good from Anadokounmpo. Toronto's gone 2 of 5 from three-point land here in the first quarter. So timeout called here, the first for Toronto. And with the tide running against them, needs to talk it over with his guys. You're exactly right. Halting the other team's run momentarily. Let's see what he comes up with now, Greg. Looking now at the numbers for Wright, how he did last season. Averaged about eight points a game last season. Three assists and three rebounds. And you look at those numbers, not bad, but guys, I think he can do better, and he knows it. And he has high expectations for himself as well, guys, but he just hasn't delivered fully on his potential yet. Outside, Green. Good on the three-point shot. Green's got his second bucket of the night. And Green is a world-class sniper, laser, an excellent shooter. Great at getting his puppy set on these shots from deep. Now here is Della Vadova. Knocked away. Right against Brogdon. And right kicks to Siakam. Here's Van Vliet. No good from outside. 
definitely a situation you want to make sure you don't give him too good of a look. Raptors with the lead. Outside, Green. Pass to Van Vliet. Here's Siakam. Defended by Della Vadova. Passes it to Van Vliet. Shot clock at five. Shoots the three. Rebounded by the Bucks. This game against Toronto here, it's their first look at the Raptors. Yeah, and this game kicks off a four-game season series between the two teams. Two conference foes, guys, looking to take game one tonight. Yeah, very interesting to see who can land the first blow. Here's Snell. No points in the game yet for him. Fades away. And it's good off the back of the rim and in. And the Bucks lead by one. And so it's right, bringing up the ball for the Raptors. The pass to Van Vliet. Siakam kicks to Van Vliet. And Henson sends it back. Boy, I like seeing Henson make good use of that real reach of his to deny shots. Down it goes. Nice one there from Kumbo. And it's a three-point Bucks lead. And a breakdown here, guys. The hustle stats for Milwaukee. Well, in the first half of play, they're closing out aggressively, blocking shots. A key indicator of their activity on the defensive side. Yeah, another thing they've done well, guys, is getting in the passing lanes. They've been active with their hands. Feet have been in good position. And they've come up with a lot of steals. That's making a difference here, too. From deep green. And Henson pulls it down. And it's the Bucks ball. They're on a 14-5 run. Snell, the pass to Kumbo, And yes, it's good. Antetokounmpo's got 13. Really enjoy watching Antetokounmpo show off his toughness. I mean, he's not a real thick guy. Long, angular, and muscular. And much tougher than he looks. That's why I think he's able to overpower defenders at times. Here's Van Vliet. On his Antetokounmpo making his last shot. Now, here's Green. He's tightly guarded. Good on the shot. And Danny Green, a terrific shooter who also, Greg, happens to give you great production on defense. Yeah, and I have to say, Green's probably alone in history with his shooting and defense. Only player to ever have six or more seasons with at least 50 blocks and 73s. You know, it might be arbitrary checkpoints, but but nevertheless, it One illustrates shot. just what Green brings to the table, a consistent 3 and D player. Free throw, no good for Green. And one thing you can say about Green, I don't know of too many players who are as dependent on their three-point shot as he is. He needs that shot to be falling for him to make an impact. The Bucs shooting their fourth and fifth shots at the foul line in the game. And just to mention, a season ago, they were very comfortable at the line, hitting about 78% of their free throws. And he makes the first. Both good from the line that time. Just solid. Really one of the very best there is at the free throw line. Raptors trail by five. Right outside. Outside green. Puts up a three. Van Vliet with the bucket. Van Vliet's got his first bucket of the game, and he's on the board for three. Milwaukee's gone one or two from long range in the first quarter. Here's Snell, guarded by Green. 
Snell, that's good. They're finding lanes to the hoop now with consistency. Five buckets in a row from the paint. And on the flip side, Greg, the defenders have to show more fight on the interior. They've got to offer more resistance here. Here's Green following the bucket by the Bucks. Monroe finds right. Raptors moving the ball around. Here's Green. Rebound, Milwaukee. Ande DeCumbo's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Makes it off the glass. Ande DeCumbo's got 15 points. Man, he's got it going now. And when he's in this kind of a zone, I think the D's happy to just get out of Ante DeCumbo's way. And we reach the end of the first quarter. Bucks lead by six. Let's take a quick break now, and then it's on to the second quarter after this. Now a veteran in the NBA, Serge Ibaka, talked about his role on this team. I like to do all those little things, running up and down, blocking shot, uh, straight to the floor, making open shot, you know, rolling the basket, screen, you know, those dirty work, I like to do that. And Ibaka, Greg, a great complimentary player. And you like his combination of size and skill, able to impact the game at both ends on a high level. And for those of you just tuning in, the second quarter of action is where we're at right now. And look what we've seen from Milwaukee. What do you think, guys? Uh, listen, early on taking the league, I just like their approach offensively. Yeah, I like it, too. They're doing a great job working the ball around, staying aggressive, and capitalizing, too. And a chance here presented by Gatorade to see who's on the floor, all fueled up and ready to go for the start of the second quarter. Setting the floor for the Raptors. We've got Green. Light is out there with Monroe. And it's Siakam in at the force line. And Monroe kicks to Van Vliet. With the teardrop, Antetokounmpo pulls it in. Antetokounmpo's got his fifth rebound in this one. Here's Brogdon. And it's Van Vliet with the rebound. You know, he can be a little hesitant near the rim. We saw it there. If the defense offers just a little bit of resistance, he doesn't take it up quite strong enough. E. Vincenzo. And a great assist by Brogdon as that one goes in. Malcolm Brogdon doing a nice job serving his guys. Passes like this help make his team better. Right, the pass to Van Vliet. Poked away. And Wright kicks to Van Vliet. No coverage that time. Van Vliet's got five now. Perfect dime drop that time. Nice execution of the bounce pass. Here's Connaughton. Pass to Antetokounmpo. Puts it up from 12. And it's off the back rim. No good. Raptors trail by four. Here's Van Vliet. And the rejection by Antetokounmpo. Their game plan needs to change if they're going to get out of this hole because he is just not there offensively. Like that creativity down in the paint. Antetokounmpo showing you how crafty he can be scoring from there. Here's Van Vliet. Five points in the game. Here's Green. And Henson sends it back. Van Vliet looking around. Here's Green. That's in, and that's his fourth basket of the night. He's taken seven shots, a solid 57%. Oh, such a field shot there, the floater. Here's Connaughton. Back to Anadokounmpo. Three minutes of action so far in the second quarter. Here's Van Vliet. His last outing, he had eight points. A different look for Milwaukee. Ilya Sova, he's checked in for Hanson. And Eric Bledsoe subbed in for Malcolm Brogdon. Then for the Raptors, Valanciunas, he's checked in for Monroe. Kawhi Leonard comes in for Danny Green. 
and Kyle Lowry subbed in for DeLon Wright. Here's Van Vliet, entered on the wing, beyond the arc. It's rebounded by Ilyasova. Bucks leading by four. Vincenzo. And it's wide right, hits off the rim. And Clark, you look at the Bucks roster, what's the biggest area of need in your opinion? The question mark I see is the center position, Kevin. Von Maker might have some upside and could very well fill that void, but they lack a presence in there now. Chris Middleton's checked in for Pat Connaughton. Serge Ibaka, he's checked in for the Raptors. Here in the second quarter, just under three and a half minutes played. Now, here's Valanchunas. He had 16 points in the win against Dallas. And don't forget about the work he did on the boards. His rebounding was a huge help in that game. And Milwaukee has possession. The Raptors getting the bucket. It's Anadokounmpo on the wing, defended by Ibaka. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. And from everything you hear about Giannis Antetokounmpo, he keeps a laser focus. Basketball and his family are his sole preoccupation. Milwaukee shooting their sixth and seventh free throws in the game. That's good from Adetokounmpo. And some have even compared Giannis to Kobe Bryant for his single-minded dedication, Greg, to improvement. Yeah, you know, something of an introvert. Not a guy you'll find out on the town or schmoozing with other stars. He's content to save outside pursuits for after his playing days are done. Both free throws good from Adetokounmpo. And Toronto has possession. They host the 76ers after this game. That game will be a quick pit stop before hitting the road again. Pass to Van Vliet. To the wing on the left. Leonard, the pass to Van Vliet. Five on the clock. Fires from deep. Good on the triple. Van Vliet's got eight points. And I don't care how far from the bucket he is. You've got to have a man on him. He's just too good from deep. Now here's Bledsoe. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. Outside, on to Kumbo. And there's the call on Kyle Lowry. That is his first foul of the game. against Bledsoe. Nice ball movement by Milwaukee. Shot clock at six. Fires from the line. No good on the shot. A bit long that time. And so Lowry will bring it up for the Raptors. They've only given up six here in this quarter. Pass to Van Vliet. Down low. Valanciunas and the dunk by Valanciunas. We've seen the lead change hands quite a bit in this one. And guys, I think each team knows they can win this game. Just a matter who can catch that momentum. Now here's Bledsoe. Kicks it to Atsutakumbo. And he could not get that one to go. Out of contact and he'll go to the line for two. Serge Ibaka picks one up there. And, you know, at almost seven feet tall, Antetokounmpo is, is dangerous down inside, really. I mean, the defense has to be physical with him if they want to have a chance at preventing him from scoring in the paint. The first one falls. 
Clark agility is such an important thing for players to have, obviously. When you look at the offensive end, knowing that agility has that uh, upper value, who are some of the more elusive players you see in the game now? Man, I don't think there's any more elusive player in the game than Steph Curry. I tell you, he's not the most athletic, he's not the fastest, but he is the slipperiest guy mm -hmm. to try to keep a handle on. His ball handling, his shot making, his change of pace. I throw Kyrie Irving in there as well. Kimball Walker, um, diminutive in size, but boy, is he hard to keep corralled. Um, and Lou Williams, one of my favorites. One of the great scorers, maybe one of the greatest scorers ever, under six feet two in the league. Some terrific names there. Leonard dishes to Ibaka. Lowry against Bledsoe. Pulls up on the wing. He can't hit that time. And Milwaukee will come the other way. And the foul on Jonas Valanciunas. That's his first foul. And the next one puts him in the bonus. Yep, they'll be trying to draw that next foul quickly so they can start getting those easy chances at the strike. Here's Middleton. Got it. Good job in the low post. Now it's a four-point Bucks lead. Nice handles by Middleton. Actually, really impressive handles. Put on the show with that dribbling exhibition. Van Vliet kicks to Leonard. Now the pass to Valanciunas. Over Delavidova. And there's Valanciunas on the assist by Leonard. Alan Junis has got six in the quarter. Boy, after struggling in the first quarter, he's come alive here in the second. Alan Junis against Ilyasova. Here's Middleton, and it's sent back by Leonard. And a sensational individual defender. Leonard will lock you down. Rejections are just part of the package he brings on the defensive end. Lowry with the ball. Eric Bledsoe covering. No good on the triple. The Bucks shooting 36% in the second quarter. They really haven't found their rhythm yet offensively here. Back to Delavidova. He kicks to Hatsatakumbo. Basket number eight for him on 13 tries. That's 62% so far. Well, I tell you what, I like the clip he's shooting at. Extremely effective. If you're on defense now, you got to get the ball out of his hand. And the Raptors call time here. In addition to going over the game plan and making whatever necessary adjustments have to be made, Greg, this time out also the time for players to get rehydrated or hydrate for the first time with some Gatorade. Plenty of basketball still to be played here, and they have to get recharged. That's a great point. Without proper hydration, a player can completely run out of gas down the stretch of a, of a game, and that's something that none of these guys can afford to have happen. If you're going to battle all the way to the finish, you have got to be hydrated. Tony Snell's checked in for the Bucks. A moment now to see how the schedule is looking for Milwaukee. On Thursday, they'll be matching up with Al Horford and the Boston Celtics. Then on Sunday, they'll tip off a homestand starting with the Sacramento Kings. And looking at the Blazers matchup, this is one where it would take a complete meltdown for them not to come away with the win. Anything can happen, but I'd be shocked if they don't come out on top. Here's Van Vliet. He's got eight. And the Raptors miss again. And, you know, he's yet to hit another three after nailing one in the first, but I don't think that's going to stop him from shooting. And Antetokounmpo slams it in. And I tell you, it's ridiculous how much space Antetokounmpo covers in just two strides. I mean, the way he handles himself going to the basket, that it is one sight to see. Now, here's Valanciunas. Ibaka finds Leonard. Five to shoot. Goes back up. And he sinks the layup. Leonard's got eight points. And he moves so well. When Leonard drives the lane, it's pretty much a guaranteed bucket. Terrific body control, and he plays with the ultimate force. Now here is Della Vadova. Pass to Ilyasova. Over Lowry, and another basket for Milwaukee. Nice looking shot from Ilyasova. He hits these shots consistent, especially when the defense doesn't make their presence felt. Some tough offensive sets. They want to turn it around. Yeah, right now you just need a bucket to get some momentum. 
Here's Antetokounmpo and the slam dunk by Antetokounmpo. And guys got careless with the ball there and the turnover leads to the big stuff. Once he came up right with the steal, he went straight on the attack. That's exactly the way to do it too, Kevin. Go hard to the bucket and don't let them set up the defense. Here's Lowry after the basket by Milwaukee. Ibaka, the pass to Leonard. Good for another field goal. Number five in the night. Five for ten shooting. And he's got the athleticism and strength to be a powerful presence inside. Leonard never afraid to get in and mix it up down low. Oh, oh inflicting some punishment with the two-hand flush. Ah, they're going for the throat. Now's the time to do it. Keep attacking that rim. Toronto with the ball, following the bucket by the Bucks. Van Vliet kicks to Lowry. And there are the Raptors with another bucket. And, and Kevin, they started the game shooting it so well. I I'm surprised they have it continued. They've got to get back to their strength. Yeah, I mean, test the hot hand. You're exactly right. I say let those triples fly. Raptors trail by eight. Eric Bledsoe, Greg, one of the league's best slashers. Yeah, he gets to the rim with regularity, and he finishes at a high rate, lives at the line. He is a nightmare in the open court. There's Van Vliet. Eight points for him. Yep, that one goes. Being aware there, excellent recognition, fantastic playmaking leading to the nice shot. Bledsoe outside. One oh five left in the first half of the game. Ilya Soba dishes to Delavidova. And good. Got the friendly bounce off the right side of the rim. Delavidova's got the lead up to eight now for Milwaukee. Toronto's gotten into trouble with the three ball in the second quarter. Only hitting one of five attempts. Alan Junis against Ilya Soba. Outside Leonard. Goes up from the top of the key. Rebound Giannis into the Kumbo. And, the, and they're controlling the boards, Kevin. That's plus five in that category. And, oh, oh, wow. <laughs> That's a beautiful jam. Yes, indeed. And when the Greek freak takes flight, I mean, he's looking to tear that rim apart. So ferocious in his throwdowns. Now here is Lowry. Seven points in the game. Not a lot going his way. Everything he's shooting is just off the mark. I mean, somehow he's got to figure out a way to turn it around. Oh, great ball movement there. Pass to Leonard. Giannis Antetokounmpo, he's feeling it tonight and has been the driving force for the Milwaukee Bucks. They kept going to him again and again, and he delivered with a monster quarter. And a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge, standing by courtside. David. Thanks, Kevin. Chris, you guys were able to get the lead. What was the key to getting all those open shots? Uh, it was just getting stops, uh, getting rebound, getting down the pushing, uh, finding lanes, finding open guys. And you made the most of it, Chris. Thanks a lot. Kevin, back to you. Okay, David, much appreciated. And now time for halftime. So we'll be back in just a bit to get the third quarter underway. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hello again, Hoop fans. NBA Halftime Show on 2K Sports. EJ, Shaq, Jet. A tremendous game we're seeing from Giannis Antetokounmpo. He had 34 points, three block shots, and eight rebounds. Shaq, let's get your take on Milwaukee. Well, a specific thing that impresses me about Giannis, the ground he covers in just a couple of steps. He uses his length and speed to get up and down the floor, get to the rim. Very difficult for anyone to keep up with him as we saw in the first half. I don't believe this guy's a seven foot point guard. Looking at Toronto, Kenny, your thoughts. Well, they're facing a team that shot very well in the first half. Now, that being said, they probably weren't aggressive enough on the defensive end. That was the difference. And that does it for our halftime show. We now take you back to Kevin Harlan for the start of the third period.
Welcome back to Milwaukee, Wisconsin. The buildings of downtown reflecting off the gentle waters of beautiful Lake Michigan. And after a very lopsided first half, we'll see if things play out a little more evenly here in the second. You look at Anadokounmpo, and this game has been everywhere. You know, and as effective as he was at slashing to the hoop in that first half, even better at finishing once he got there. Guys, we saw some amazing dunks from him. I can't imagine he'll be able to top those in these last two quarters, but I'd love to see him try. And with a big gap on the scoreboard, the second half begins with very different goals for these teams. One side trying to mount a comeback, one side trying to protect their lead. Middleton and Giannis are out on the wings. Up front, you have Ilya Silva and Henson, and it's Bledsoe in at the one spot. That's the group for Milwaukee right now. Here's Valanciunas, the rebound by Middleton. Middleton's got four rebounds now tonight. Just a solid performance on the interior. The rebounding has been off the charts. Yeah, you look across the board, it's actually sizing up, shaping up to be a great game. I mean, strong performances throughout, and they've really been strong on the glass. Shooting two. That's good from Anadokounmpo. And that one goes in. Two from the line that time. Raptors trail by 14. Outside Lowry. Here's Valanciunas. Goes to the reverse layup and drops it in. Valanciunas has got eight points. And he's pretty relentless inside. Valanciunas gets after it down low. It might not always look pretty, but he makes the most of his chances in the paint. Now here's Middleton. And here's Bledsoe. And the layup's good off the glass. Bledsoe's got the lead up to 14 now for the Bucks. And, you know, so often we see Bledsoe trying to get all the way to the rim, at least as close as possible. That's the mentality I think you've got to have. Here's Valanciunas. Eight points for him. The dish now to Lowry. Over Bledsoe. The shot by Lowry, no good. They have been board dominant in this game. That's definitely been a factor in crafting this huge lead. And it's been a well-rounded performance. I mean, strong rebounding has certainly been, at, been at, the, at the center of it, but it's been good on a number of levels. And here's Lowry. He'll bring it up for the Raptors. They trail by 16. Passes it to Green. Alan June is inside, working on Henson. He gets that one. You know, I think he's been a steady, reliable option so far, but it's not enough. They need him to take charge, be more assertive on the offensive end. Now here's Henson. Bledsoe kicks to Middleton. Let's it go from deep. It's hauled in by the Raptors. Nobody near Leonard. Bledsoe with the rebound. I didn't see that miss coming. I mean, he's usually been money from that range. And the slam dunk by Antetokounmpo. And Antetokounmpo is so long. I mean, he stretches forever, covers a ton of ground. And that was an Unleashed Chaos moment indeed. What a spectacular play. Sponsored by Under Armour, Hover Havoc. Toronto calls timeout. Yeah, he, he's got to make some adjustments here. Just too easy to score in the lane against them right now. Yeah, there's no reason why they should be scoring at will down there easily as they have. I mean, they've got to be more aggressive inside. And some changes here for the Raptors. Craig Monroe, he's checked in for Jonas Valanciunas. Pascal Siakam comes in for Serge Ibaka. And it's right in for Kyle Lowry. The pass to Middleton, all alone. 
And a great assist by Bledsoe as that one goes in. Bledsoe's got his third assist on the night. Three minutes gone now in the third quarter. Green kicks to Leonard. Clock at four. And the shot is good, dropping in off the front of the rim. Leonard's got 12 points in the game. And you know, Kevin, they count on him to provide offense, and he knows how to fill it up. Outside, out of the Kumbo. Sinks that one from the post. Onto the Kumbo's got 42 in the game. Strong work for him at the offensive end, helping them to maintain that lead. Green with the ball. Now guarded by Middleton. Green kicks to Leonard. Top of the key, Siakam. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Chris Middleton. That is his first foul of the game. And some changes here for the Bucks. Pat Connaughton comes in for Ilyasova. And Malcolm Brogdon subbed in for Eric Bledsoe. Here's Monroe. He's still scoreless so far in this one. Outside, Green. Just five on the clock. And right on through for another basket. He's got five made on five of nine shooting. The kick out to Kumbo. And the double up Kumbo. And stolen by Wright. Monroe in the corner. Wright looking around. Right through the D for the layup. Nice physicality displayed by Monroe to set that shot up. Bucks leading by 14. Brogdon with it. Fires from the wing. And another basket for Milwaukee. And that set them apart today, guys. Their success with the mid-range. Simply taking advantage of what the defense has given them, and they've really made the most of it. Now, here's Green. He's got 12. The shot's good. And I'll bet his percentage is pretty high from that range. The Bucks have gotten six of their seven shots to go down in this quarter. What a fantastic start to the half. And guys, veteran Danny Green moving north last summer as part of the Kawhi Leonard trade, now in a Toronto Raptors uniform. Yeah, and not the big name in that deal, obviously, but an important piece. Green is shown to be a very capable 3 and D guy, and, and it's the next chapter in what has been a solid career for him. Here's Wright following the basket by Chris Middleton. Count it. 16 points for Kawhi Leonard. And I love the momentum he's building. Last game, he, he was just as dominant. Yeah, I concur. I mean, definitely on the roll right now. Seems like everything he's throwing up is going down. The shot by Brogdon wide open. Here's Henson, fouled on the shot and picks up two points. So one free throw coming up. And a big lead for them on both the scoreboard and the backboard thus far. Yeah, rebounding has been a big key in this one, Greg. They've asserted their will and have taken control on the glass. One shot. That's good from Henson. The former Tar Heel, John Henson, is incredibly efficient on both ends of the court. And the Raptors call time here. You look at Anadokounmpo really making a difference here. Yeah, he is on a major roll today. This timeout was desperately needed. They've got to come up with a new game plan designed to shut him down. And look now at the various locations of the shots taken so far for Anadokounmpo. Right now, after looking at that chart, you, you pretty much can just jog down the court. <laughs> he gets it in the paint. That just time and time again, he's worked his way in close and made a shot over a defender or found another way to convert. Just great stuff coming from him thus far. Siakam passes to Green. Leonard looking around. Six on the shot clock. The drive by Green, and a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. Clearly a foul. Yeah, he took a shot there, earned those free throws. 
And what's your take, guys, on the hustle stats for the Bucks? You know, block shots, guys, a clear indicator on the stat sheet of their excellent defense. I mean, leaving them no room to get off any shots. And, and also, how about the points they've gotten in transition or on the fast break tonight? That's been a huge factor as well. And he makes the first. Both free throws good from Green. Now on to Kumbo. And he has 42 to the inside. And John Henson with the slam. Yeah, and Henson is an athletic big guy who knows how to punch it home. Raptors trail by 17. And Wright kicks to Leonard. Back to Wright. That's good, and it's Leonard with the assist. And that's how you move the basketball. Awesome passing leading to the bucket. And they double up on a Dekumbo. Leonard with the steal. And oh, here we go with Leonard. Nobody back. And Kawhi Leonard with the slam. And busting it up the floor. Leonard showing a lot of energy on the fast break. If there's one thing he doesn't lack, it's hustle. Here's Connaughton. To the middle. Here's onto Takumbo. It's good. As hot as he's been this quarter, the game plan is simple, folks. Get him the ball and get out of the way. He's been spending quite a bit of time at the foul line. This is trip number six. In their last contest, guys, he was unconscious from the foul line. Splashed them one after another. It really was quite a display from the strike. And the Raptors making a change here. Van Vliet's checked in. Free throw, no good for Anadokounmpo. You know, Clark, when you think about it, all fans really care about is winning, and, and that's hard to pull off when you're the only star on your team. We see it all over the league. You know, basketball is not tennis or golf. It's a team game, and one man can't win a championship by himself. I mean, when you look at all the championship teams, they were championship teams, not driven by just one star player. And uh, it's a blessing when you can play with other good players. And that's what all good players desire to do at some point in their career. And here is Wright. Kawhi Leonard getting his three to go. Wright finds Leonard. Off the mark, had a chance to trim it to single digits. And physically, there's no doubt they've been the stronger team. A plus 10 rebound advantage tells you all you need to know. And really just led him to his sweet spot for that finish. Here's Van Vliet. Ten points for him. Monroe outside. Back to Van Vliet. No good on the three. Bucks leading by 14. Here's onto Takumbo. Rebound by Monroe. Outside Leonard. He dishes it to right. Here's Siakam. Onto the Kumbo defending. Six to shoot. They grab their own miss. And Craig Monroe with the slam. Man, what hustle from Monroe. I mean, this is a guy that gobbles up second chance opportunities for his team thanks to his gigantic side. Now, here's Brogdon. He can't get that one. Well defended, though, and, and he's not someone who handles that kind of pressure very well. Leonard, the pass to Van Vliet. Back to Leonard. Shoots a fader. That one misses. You, you almost have to assume he's going to knock those down when he is that open. Down it goes. Nice one there from Kumbo. Continuing to push the action and build this lead. Yeah, you know, continue to pour it on them. That's what they want to do right now. Doing their best to put this game out of reach and in the win column. And Leonard gets it to go. And really, the scoring this quarter has been just off the charts, doing all he can to bring them back. 
Anadokounmpo kicks to Brogdon. And John Henson with the slam. This is the kind of unselfishness you love seeing from Brogdon, making sure he gets it to the open man. Pass to Siakam. That's tipped. And Leonard has it in the corner. Pass to Van Vliet. And it's off from three-point range. Anadokounmpo finds Brogdon. Back to Anadokounmpo. And they double up Anadokounmpo. And it goes out of bounds. Last touch by Anadokounmpo. And it gives us a chance here to check out some stats on Giannis Antetokounmpo. Great showing for him last season. Fifth in scoring. Ninth in blocks. And he did his share on the glass. Battled his way into the top 15 in rebounds per game. And clearly one of the dominant scorers we have in this league. His top five ranking last year puts him right there in the ranks of the elite. And Clark, while we have a moment, let's show you the list of players who put up the most points last year. Fifth is Giannis Antetokounmpo. And looking back, his points per game really underscored the fact that he never took a game off. I mean, one special performance after another all season long. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. And a chance now to look at the schedule coming up for the Toronto Raptors. On Tuesday, they'll face off against Ben Simmons and the Philadelphia 76ers. Then on Friday, they'll go up against Devin Booker and the Phoenix Suns. And for that game against the Jazz, that's a contest that could easily go either way. Small mistakes could be the difference, and both teams will need to be at their best. The first free throw is good. Ilya Sova, he's checked in for Milwaukee. And Toronto also making a switch. Kyle Lowry, he's checked in for DeLon Wright. Both free throws good from Anadokounmpo. There's 138 left to play in the third. Van Vliet passes to Ibaka. Valanciunas in the high post. Pass to Van Vliet. And that one, good. Van Vliet's got 12 in the game. Always enjoy solid, good passing. Easily setting up his teammate. Does not get any easier than that. Brogdon kicks to Anadokounmpo. Lowry against Brogdon. And a great assist by Anadokounmpo as that one goes in. Anadokounmpo's got five assists tonight. Raptors trail by 16. Out to the right wing. Valanciunas passes to Van Vliet. Bucks foul call. Matthew Delimadova. First trip to the free throw line for him in this one. At the line for the Raptors, Fred Van Vliet. At the line for the Raptors. Shoot two, gentlemen. And he makes the first. Milwaukee making a switch here. Bloodsoe's checked in. And he makes both free throws. There's 49 seconds left in the third. Anadokounmpo kicks to Bledsoe. Siakam pulls it in. Siakam's got his fourth rebound in this one. To the paint, outside for Lowry. Over Bledsoe, up again. Antetokounmpo pulls it in. And it's Antetokounmpo with the ball. He'll bring it up for the Milwaukee Bucks. And they double up Antetokounmpo. Delavidova finds Antetokounmpo. Ilyasova with the ball. Lowry covering. 
In the corner, Snell with it. Four on the shot clock. And a great assist by Adetokounmpo as that one goes in. Adetokounmpo's got six assists now in the game. And the pass to Valanciunas. Back to Lowry. Tried to come right back with the three of his own, but it's no good. And here at the end of the third quarter, it's a double-digit ball game. Milwaukee on top, leading by 17. And we'll have the start of the fourth quarter for you as soon as we get back from this short break. Head coach Mike Budenholzer is mic'd up along the sideline. Let's check it out. Let's do it again for this quarter. 0-0. Zero, zero. Same effort, same mentality. Keep pushing it. Keep moving the ball. Keep cutting. Now Mike likes how they're working the ball right now. And, you know, Coach highlighted it's a brand new quarter. They need to play with the same fire. And with the fourth quarter upon us, time is running out for this game to become competitive. So for Toronto right now, inside pairing is Ibaka and Valanciunas. Then there's Lowry, and it's Siakam in at the three. Now here's Bledsoe. Here's Della Vidova. Bledsoe kicks to Snell. The Bucks working the ball around. Clock at six. Launches a three. And you know, even though they're up, he's been off his game this quarter, having trouble finding the basket. Siakam passes to Lowry. And that one, good. Lowry's got the fourth quarter started here with a bucket for the Raptors. And his touch inside more than makes up for Lowry's lack of size. He's a terrific finisher in the paint and doesn't miss many once he gets in tight. Now here is Della Vadova. What's the left side? That one doesn't go. Nice D from Valanciunas. And it's just one of those days, guys. He has just struggled to shoot the basketball. And there's the foul. It goes on Ilyasova. That is his first foul of the game. Chris Middleton's checked in for Giannis Antetokounmpo. And the Raptors also making a change. Green's checked in. Just over a minute played here in the fourth. Here's Siakam. Dishes it to Lowry. Off target with his three. He's still looking for his first three-pointer of the second half after making just one in the first. And stolen by Kyle Lowry. Fast break Toronto. Final quarter of play, about a minute and a half off the clock into it. Pass to Siakam. Shot clock at six. And there's the foul. It's on Tony Snell. That's foul number two for him. Lowry against Bloodsoe. Count that bucket. Lowry's got four this quarter. And giving up some height. He just finds a way to carve out a little separation. Yeah, you know, he doesn't back down from anybody, Greg. Effective at getting the room he wants and then gets his shot off in time. Now here's Ilya Sova. The shot by Middleton, wide open. Sinks the three-pointer. And the Bucks lead by 16. For Toronto, they've gone two of three from the field to get the fourth quarter started. Here's Green. And there are the Raptors with another bucket. Just a little under two and a half minutes have passed now here in the fourth. Della Vidova kicks to Middleton. Pass to Snell. Middleton on the wing. Five to shoot to the wing right side. No good from Bloodsoe. Raptors trail by 14. Third minute of action now gone here in the fourth. Outside, Green. Stolen by Middleton. 
Passes it to Bledsoe. Three-pointer, Snell. Not going to go that time. And it's the Raptors taking it the other way. Lowry looking around. Out to Ibaka. Puts up a three. Knocks down the three ball. In that first half, guys, they didn't shoot nearly as many threes as they have here in the second, trying to use that shot to stay in the game. Now here's Bledsoe. Snell dishes to Bledsoe. And the refs are going to rule that unnecessary contact. It's a flagrant one foul. And, Kevin, I got to tell you, he's probably fortunate to just get a flagrant one there. I mean, so much contact. The officials easily could have gone even shots. harder on him. Greg, I two agree. Shots. He better be on his best behavior from now on. One more flagrant of any variety, and he's out of here. That free throw good from Bledsoe. And Eric Bledsoe, so gifted athletically, he's got to learn to read the game as fast as he plays it. And that's a process. Staying under control, using change of pace, those are things he can tighten up. John Henson's checked in for Milwaukee. Kawhi Leonard's checked in for the Raptors. Here's Bledsoe. Middleton outside. Now the pass to Delavidova. Nice ball movement by Milwaukee. Henson finds Middleton. And here is Ilyasova. He's covered by Leonard. It's stolen by Green. Now here's Leonard. And finished off by Leonard. And then Leonard enjoys jamming it home, Kevin. Got to keep him as far away from the hoop as possible. And playing under Chauncey Billups and Chris Paul, Eric Bledsoe got the message about playing Clark at two speeds. Well, you know, it's almost like baseball. You've got to have a little change of pace in your game, the change up to keep hitters off balance in baseball, same in basketball. And his strength helps him too now. He can hold off his defender while he downshifts to make decisions with the ball. Now Bledsoe following the miss by Kyle Lowry from deep. Lowry against Bledsoe. Back to Delavidova. Just five on the clock. Kicks to Ilyasova. Milwaukee, no good that time either. And so Lowry will bring it up for Toronto. They've only given up five points here in the fourth quarter. Outside Leonard. Pass to Green. Raptors need to get a shot off from deep and it's Leonard missing Bucks leading by 11 Bloodsoe outside Ilyasova passes to Bloodsoe Henson with it now Valanciunas defending Middleton against Leonard releases from 15 no good off the back of the rim. Raptors trail by 11. Lowry inside the line. Here's Valanciunas. Good on the shot, and that shaves the lead to single digits. Well, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. They keep getting it in the paint and continue to score consistently. And here is Delavidova. To stop the drought, and it's Plunzo. That time on the assist from Delavidova. Delavidova's got his third assist on the night. For Toronto, they've gotten into a pretty good groove going 6 of 10 here in the final quarter. Plunzo against Lowry. Down low, here's Ibaka, and he gets it to go, hitting off the back of the rim. Ibaka's got five points now this quarter. Kevin, it's, you know, it's nice to see Lowry dish the rock. I mean, I enjoy watching him pass the ball because he's got a nice feel for when to get it to his guys for an open shot. Now here's Middleton. Back to Bledsoe. Over Lowry. No good from Bledsoe. He's been anything but his usual self this quarter. It's actually been ugly to see. 
Green finds Valanciunas. Outside, Green. Leonard on the wing. Over Middleton. And it's Leonard missing. Another rebound hauled in. They're hitting the glass with a lot of passion. Guys, that's been the key to their lead. I mean, simply put, the effort they've displayed on the glass has been the difference. Now here is Della Vadova. Kawhi Leonard unable to get his shot to go. Lowry against Bledsoe. Lowry kicks to Green. There's the feed to Leonard. Good, and it's Green picking up the assist. Green's got four assists in the game. Every time they get scored on during this run, it's come from inside the paint. Timeout called the Bucks. When you watch Kyle Lowry play, you see how much bigger he is than his stats. He does so many little things on both ends of the floor. I mean, he's a great screen setter, takes charges, all the things that don't necessarily show up in the stat sheet but are important when it comes to winning. Antetokounmpo is checked in for Matthew Dellavedova. He gets a chance now to catch up with the fourth member of our crew, Hall of Famer David Aldridge. Hey, guys, I was able to listen to what Mike Boldenholzer told his team during that timeout. We told him one thing. He said, no mistakes from here on out. We've got a good lead. Don't take chances. No dumb fouls. Smart basketball the rest of the way. Guys. Now here's Middleton. To the inside. A beautiful reverse layup. And the Bucks lead by nine. And Greg, with Lowry, it isn't like he's quiet on the stat sheet either. Yeah, he is a bulldog. I mean, scores it, the playmaking. He's just complete in terms of a backcourt player. Rebounds as well as anybody for his position and got good hands on defense. It just gives you a little bit of everything at that point guard position. Onto Takumbo, passes to Ilya Sober. And John Henson with the slam. And we always talk about making your teammate better. That assist was right on target. Pass to Valanciunas. Rebounded by the Bucks. Henson's got six rebounds now in the game. For a three, Middleton. That counts. He's put up 13 shots, and he's had eight of those go in. Timely passing leads to assists, and that's been the recipe for success. Everybody on the same page, completely in sync, tremendous communication and awareness. And Kawhi Leonard with the slam. And he wanted everybody in the building to feel that ferocity. And we did. Yeah. And we, we felt it. Even over here, we felt it. It's the best way to do it, as long as you don't get teed up for it. Hanson dishes the blood cell. Got a piece of it. Outside Leonard. Lowry finds Green. Stolen by Henson. Middleton the pass to Bledsoe. Here's Lowry. And he banks in the layup. Lowry's got six here in this quarter. And what a take from Lowry. Using that quickness to just blaze to the rim. Passes to Kumbo, And there's the call on Kyle Lowry. That'll be his second foul of the game. Toronto on defense. Here's onto Takumbo. And good. He hits it again. My goodness. 50 for the game. Yep, he is putting on a show. Here's Leonard. Rebound, Milwaukee. Middleton's got six rebounds here tonight. A pass to Ilya Sova. He had stolen by Valanciunas. Ludzo against Lowry. Here's Leonard. Anas Antetokounmpo grabs the miss. Antetokounmpo's got rebound number 12 now. Tenacity on the glass. And the foul called on Kawhi Leonard. That's his fourth foul of the contest. On defense, Toronto, a 12-point game. A minute 20 left in the fourth quarter. Lowry with the ball. It's stolen by to Takumbo. And these are the types of games 
where one team clearly has the edge. Tonight, it will be a win by a large margin for the Bucks. This was a very efficient offense tonight. And the, they found a way to get their shots to go down. A little luck didn't hurt. A lot of their 50-50 shots fell their way. And so with this win, they'll move to six victories on the season. And in what should be an exciting four-game season series between these two teams, they have to feel great about taking this first one against the Raptors. And we watched one guy all night long, guys, and, and look at the stats just confirms what a dominant game he had. What a night tonight it was for Giannis Antetokounmpo. And the way he was able to dice up their D with his passing really made things easy for everyone else on his team. Here's Henson. Kawhi Leonard making his last shot. And it's Antetokounmpo penetrated. The dunk and the foul. A powerhouse move. And he's got a chance for one more at the line. Serge Ibaka picks one up there. One shot, gentlemen. That's good from out of the Kumbo. There's 21 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Now Leonard. Two points. That one goes. Leonard's got 33. Huge hole in the defense, that possession. He didn't waste any time cutting through it. So no problem for Milwaukee as they get the win. Even early on in this one, it seemed like they were happy to be playing at home tonight. And it makes a big difference. Once they started to really play in rhythm, you never felt like they had any doubts as to whether or not they were going to win. And a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge, standing by courtside. David. Thanks, Kevin. Here with Eric Bledsoe. Eric, a strong performance tonight. What's been the difference? Uh, we're getting out of transition, you know, trying to get defensive stops. And everybody's just playing their game. And it's show tonight, Eric. Thanks very much. Back to you, Kevin. David, thank you as always. Thank you for joining us. That'll do it for now. For David Aldridge, Greg Anthony, and Clark Kellogg, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for being with us. So long, everyone.